What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm Kip, this is Kip Views and today I'll be taking you through another Dunk release. The Nike Dunk Low Disrupt 2 in the Malasite colorway, or as I like to call it, green. Um, check this out. Yes, I absolutely love this sneaker. I mean, I think it smashes the, the Disrupt 1 and the colorways they use there. I think the details, I mean, the design, the kind of materials they've used on this, it's just, they've just gone outside the box. Um, think that's out of the box and, and just I think it's just quality. I mean, let's quickly take a look into this Today I'm going to talk to you about design detail colorway materials used um, My personal opinion on the sneaker sizing um, how I got my pair and resale on these sneakers which I think I definitely, definitely, definitely want for the future. So let's check it out. So the main material you see here is almost like a, a, a kind of cotton material in the front in the toe box and then also on the side here on both sides and towards the back, which would usually be the white leather or a Nike Dunk Low. Uh, but this time you've got a kind of a white cotton material. And then we move to what would usually be the second color on a Nike Dunk you've got the green but it's in a suede this time i think it's nice and refreshing i mean i love a pair of suede sneakers and, and you just got to be careful that you don't ruin those and so i mean what they've done with the green here i think is amazing i think it's nice to see it in a suede it's almost like a, a very very soft suede and hopefully one that's kind of harder wearing that in terms of it will not it won't ruin too easily um but i really like that and something else they've added they've added another material at the back which is like this tough rubber which almost protects the back of the sneaker just above the midsole um, and I think it's pretty cool and you also see it on the left side or the right side sorry of the toe box um, right here which I think it's just cool I mean everything they've done here they haven't stepped to kind of any normal design they've, they've kind of gone outside the box they've changed it and, and done what they wanted with the with the sneaker gone outside the box they've even got a Nike logo stitched in here which you can just see is like an outline but it also, it doesn't even finish off like a normal swoosh. Um, kind of squares off at the end. And you get it on both sides of the sneaker in that University Blue colorway that everybody loves. Um, and then you've got the University Blue tick. It's a smaller tick. It's a smaller swoosh. Um, not what you usually see on a Nike Dunk. But again, it kind of stands out. And you're going to know it's a Nike sneaker. Um, and then, I guess throughout, there's so many different bits of kind of detail and design here. And then as we move on to the tongue, you've got the cotton material there. As we move up to the logo here, you've got the green logo, you've got the green background, and then the University Blue Nike logo, which I think is very, very cool. But also, you've got Nike on the side here. So you've got Nike with a switch as usual, and then Nike just below, which kind of is in line with a disrupt design um, and just, just different to the usual dunk glow, which again, it's just refreshing. Um, on top of that, even with the kind of the eyelet and the eye style, it's not really connected. It's kind of like just stitched in places which I think is just cool um, it's a nice little addition and I mean yeah everything they've done here is, is just very very cool and as we move on to the back you've got that kind of tag there which again isn't that suede material but it's pretty cool and not what we usually see on a Nike Dunk Low so again Nike you've done very very well this sneaker I love it and I can't see why you wouldn't like this sneaker so you also get another couple of pairs of laces with these you get the pink and the yellow vault that Nike like to call it. Um, I mean, as I haven't noted yet, this is actually a women's sneaker, so it comes in women's sneaker sizing. Um, but for me, I mean, I see this as very, very unisex. I mean, I know so many different people are gonna like to wear this, and I think with a different color laces, you can definitely change it up for summertime or a different vibe, or you can just go with standard white laces. I would have liked to have seen a green pair of laces on top of this, and I think it would go really well, or even the University Blue to complement the accents that you see throughout the sneaker. But again, I mean, very, very well done. So what a way to start off the Disrupt 2. I mean, this colorway, the Malasite, or the green colorway, is just, it's just amazing, right? What they've done and the way they've changed the sneaker up from the original Nike Dunk Glow. I mean, that we've seen so, so many of, especially over the last year or so. We've seen so many different Dunks released in the kind of this, the same design, right? And this is just a way to change it up. But it's, it's refreshing. It's so refreshing what they've done here. I mean, the way they've changed up the materials, the materials used instead of standard leather, and kind of leather that many, many people said they didn't like the quality of, right? And what they've also done with Nike's move to kind of go with zero carbon and zero waste 
and at least kind of 20% recycled material, I think is great. So yeah, the move to zero on this was, was a really good move by Nike. And finally, my favorite part of the sneaker is the speckled outsole. Check that out. I think it's just another nice addition. I mean, everything I talked about is just nice additions throughout this sneaker. Um, it's just refreshing to see from a standard pair of Nike Dunks. I just think the quality of materials, I know people talk about the quality of the leather or lack of leather or pleather that they use in the Nike Dunk Glows, especially the newer ones. Um, but this quality of material, it, it's just amazing. It's just there. It really is there. And they've really, really done a good job here. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up there. Sizing, you're pretty much looking at standard sizing. I know that sometimes people size down for Nike Dunks. Um, these I wouldn't size down. Um, you're not gonna get the crease and you haven't got the leather. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. And I'll just go with your standard sizing. They'll fit perfect there so yeah as you would probably do with an sb dunk um just down size in there in terms of how i got my pair they released on nike or nike app and i got my pair there um it was a normal general release so it wasn't a sneakers release it was just a general release get them as quick as you can type release um and as i said previously in women's sizing so you didn't get larger sizes i believe they went up to an eight or a nine uk um so yeah Got, uh, managed to get my size in terms of resale. Resale is pretty popular on these, uh, especially in the larger sizes. You're looking at about 140, 150 pounds against a retail sneaker of 99.99. So yeah, resale is pretty cool. I think resale will increase throughout the year as we get to the summertime when people will be using and wearing these sneakers, um, especially because of the color. You've got the green color, which would go well in the summer. Um, so keep an eye on those, especially if you like to resell. If you're looking to get a pair for yourself, Small sizes a little bit easier to get or a little bit cheaper. Um, large sizes will be paying a premium. Um, but yeah, I would say get them now before retail, oh, sorry, resale price in increases. So you've heard my thoughts on sneaker. Let's go check out the one for your view. disrupt to in the malicite colorway or as i like to say the green colorway um do keep an eye out for these and kind of more colorways they're definitely gonna be popular i think what nike have done with the materials and design is just amazing um i really like these and can't wait to add them to my collection and wear them in the summer um yeah so that's my review that's my thoughts on the sneaker and um, please do drop your comments in the box below and do keep an eye out for future content and as ever please do like share and subscribe it really does go a long way and appreciate the support take care